Hello guys, welcome to another edition of Cooking with the Sternum Man. Hey. Today we're going to be doing the poor man's spaghetti. Let's go. So, so the first thing we need is a pot Is that here. cat food? We need a can of Vena sausages. Why would we need that? <laughs> what the fuck? A little bit of the juice off into this pot. You've got here. my attention now. This is gourmet. Uh, your meatball. Uh, Kinda, it's here. not the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Okay. Hey, what's up? That cat looks disgusted. Are they just... Okay, someone brought this up. Are they just meat sticks? Uh, this is going to be an interesting experiment. Has anyone in chat ever had these? The little sticks. Little Gerber's meat sticks? Or was it just me? I ate this shit till I was like 12 years old. It slapped. It was like an improved formula of, v of Vienna sausage. But yeah, Vienna sausages are basically just these. I had these again for the baby food tier list. Fuck, man, they're still so good. I could kill 20 of those jars and shit my Another, pants. Got two packs of chicken ramen here. Ah. Open these up for you. A little flavor packet. There's a second person filming this? Yeah, it's the health inspector, I guess. I don't know, man. This is an interesting recipe, though. That's for sure. So are we like broiling those Vienna sausages? Cause that shit's just down there cooking. What do we what do we need this for right now? These are just too big. Oh, I see. A lid. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. When does the recipe begin? That is just a disaster waiting to happen. It's jingle with pots and pans. I mean, it's great if you're trying to prank your friend and give him a concussion when it all falls out. And now you can see it's completely covering. Oh, now we're getting there. That's how I usually like to do it there. Those Vienna sausages are screaming. Ramen pack on the bottom is now on the top, and the one on the top is now on the bottom. Maybe full-grown Vienna sausages act differently than Gerber's meat the... sticks, but aren't they already cooked? And it's... Isn't that the point of the Vienna sausages? You just eat them out of the jar. For another minute. They are. Thought so. Either that time or the smoke hey. alarm will let me know. One of the two. Hey, it'll get the job done. If you live in apartments like these. Where it's mandatory to have smoke alarms, they'll let you know when you're cooking. Good. I just love how these meatballs are just plumping up. You all like plump, thick meatballs here? They're not really plumping up, they're like exploding. Okay. You boiled Vienna now sausages, man. Do, it's been drain this off. Look at all this steam. Woo! All that. It's not fogging up your camera, is it? Oh, God damn. Good. It's like a WWE entrance all coming right. in. The Tostino oh. Smooth and Cheesy Dip. I got this at Walmart. This is the best flavor for that. You can get the cheap All right. you want, but, well, there you go. Why Tostino's <laughs> Cheese Dip? Couldn't even open a jar. If we're making poor man's okay, spaghetti, why not just get Velveeta? And just look at oh, whoa. Thing. You might not even need the flavor packets, but... No, you need the flavor packets. Yeah, if you want, like, less sodium or whatever. Nah, fuck that. I always put the flavor packets... You need more sodium. Stuff like this, you might not even need a flavor packet. Just so dump that mustard dust in there. Let's get crazy. Here. Variety, but this is good right here. Cheesy. Yes. The poor man's cheesy spaghetti, I guess I should. I mean, it's basically it's just ramen with cheese. Noodles, and then Vienna sausages that Vienna fell in. Vienna sausage meatballs. That's pretty good right there. Yeah. I actually bet that tastes totally fine. Just really goofy. Like at that point, you you spend more money making this than you would just buying Velveeta's mac and cheese. There's a prime Nino and five gift subs, silly. Thank you, silly. Right, everybody, I went ahead and added in the cream cheese and mixed it in with the ground beef. So this is what happened. Cream cheese. It's cream cheesed beef, <laughs> but I don't know why. Is cream cheese and beef like a good combo? Does anyone does anyone eat that? I've never heard of it. Granted, you know I'm no culinary expert, but I've never heard of creamed beef cheese. See, one person say, yeah, it tastes wonderful, but I'm guessing you're just memeing. 
It looks like insulation. <laughs> camera to stop I don't want to yeah it kind of does the stop button asbestos just fell in the pan that's yeah, all good super easy manwich casserole man oh it's sterna man put it on there bake it put the oven to 350 degrees well this one's underwhelming I thought the man which is gonna be fucking hard minutes. this is some lame shit that's not what the man which is about Oh, that sounds cool scene. I'll look at it. Doesn't make sense. Hey, Mike Foster here. Look at I'm all kicking back here on a Sunday. Hey, we're just and hanging I decided out. decided to combine two of my favorite things in the world. IPA beer, which is Imperial, which is India, excuse me, India Pale Ale, with scrambled eggs. We love hops. What? Again, are you crazy? Nope. Check this out. Bam. And another one. In she crazy. goes. Oh, yeah, and this is really beer. Check this out, as Mike's going to drink it really close. Watch. Let's go, Mike. Woo. Those that hops. scared the children. Pour it in there. I actually oh, bet this is going to come out good. I'm not going to lie. This is absolutely crazy. Look at the frost on the beer. Hey, guys, I don't even know if this is going right. to come out. <laughs> I take, I take it back. This, <laughs> this is going to be shit. All right. And I, believe me, that's my first beer of the day, so I'm not Oh, I'm what not the drunk. fuck? Let's throw... Oh, I thought he was putting butter, butter in the Jesus, okay. I got a little afraid. Go that makes a lot more sense. Scrambled eggs. Too hot. Okay, let's pour this mess in. Oh my well, that wasn't much better. This is going to be so awesome. dog shit. What the fuck? This crazy dish needs a little Parmesan on top just to help it bind. Oh my. <laughs> oh goodness me. Oh. All right, guys. Like I said, it's the first time I made it. This looks like it just tremendous. foam. Let's see how this thing tastes. I'm going to plate this up. Like, foam, sorry. Breakfast to champions. Like, foam that you'd play with Beer. as a kid? Look. That looks horrible. That looks absolutely awful. Now oh my god. That's an egg. That's somehow yeah, an egg. That's crazy. Scrambled eggs made with beer. And I got to tell you, I'm Mike, don't do it. These. Don't do it. And they're stellar. No, you're better than this. Oh. Mm. He just drops you dead. You taste some of that beer. I added a little parsley on there, a little parm cheese, a little salt and pepper. Oh, Amazing. my. It's like... Try this recipe. It's fermented brain fun. matter. But Jesus Christ, Mike. Mm. You've done it. You've created the perfect breakfast. I looked at chat and then looked back and I thought this was like an in-memoriam thing. <laughs> I actually thought he did die for a second. I was going to say shit. Shouldn't have made those goddamn eggs.